what, what the mate is talking about. Well, you know, I talk about feminism in my second book, um, Play to Dysfunction, and how uh, feminism initially was born out of the white women's suffrage movement. Mm -hmm. So these were white women who had decided that they wanted equality with their men and that they were particularly were voting at the time. Um, so they wanted to basically stand up and be heard. Mm -hmm. Now, these are women who are living with white men who are running the country, you know, and they go out and, and, and stand up for feminism, but then they come back home and lay with their men who are running the country. Mm -hmm. So fast forward to today and black women embodying and accepting feminism, I get that we need women to speak up for other women and girls. There's a very important need for that. But to take that term and that title and try to embody it, you're embracing everything that it that it embodies. So uh, I think for... And what does it embody? Well, it depends on who you ask, but right. standing up for women, women's rights, the LGBTQ uh, community and, and their rights, um, equality, equal pay, those are the things on the on the surface that it represents. But there's a lot of anti-male sentiment in feminism. A Tell lot of anti-male feminine sentiment in yeah. feminism. And for black women, it's important, you know, obviously we need to talk about the issues that we have with our men and how some of our men are falling short, but we can't declare war on our, on our men. Right. You declare war on yourself. Right. I have a son, so it would be very, it would be backwards for me to be trying to fight against men and at the same time raise a young man. Wow. And right. for any woman, whether you have a child or not, especially if you have a son, to try to embody a movement that only stands for women, you're doing a disservice to your son. Because you still have to teach him how to grow up and navigate in this world where he's going to deal with racism, where he has to learn how to properly interact with women, but you declaring war on men. Okay. So if you declare war on my son or on you, then that means that you're an enemy. Right. That there's there it's setting up too many blockades and too many innuendos in the community and we have bigger things to fight. So I could never take on while I speak for women and girls and to women and girls, that could never be my only platform because I'm just as loyal and, and uh appreciative and responsible to our men. My father was the most important man in my life. He set the tone for me loving and embracing black men. Right. How could I ever go against that? What the mate is talking about. Yeah. Order, text.